Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React JS course. In the previous video, we have seen how to use the JSX in the React code we have seen, and also the syntax and expressions and all those things for the JSX, how we can write, we have seen. Now you will be getting a doubt that what is the use of using this? What is the use of this JSX? So I know this HTML long back. So I am writing the HTML from long back. So why why I need to leave this uh, HTML and all those things? I need to write this JSX. You can be you will be having a doubt here. Now in this video, what we'll try to do is using this JSX and the normal HTML, how the React performance will be increased. Let's try to see in this video. Now what I will try to do is here I am having one index dot index HTML, right? Now I am having was one app here. I will try to write one app one, and in the same scenario, I will try to write the app two. Okay, these are the two app one and app two, and I will try to remove this all the code. Okay, first what I will try to do is const constant element is equal to okay so as a string i will try to take one div so hello world i will try to take another div so i can write double lines right hello world and what i can do here i can take the another div or other yeah put type is equal to text you can write like this okay so another one will be the so this is the html what we need what we can write so now i want to add this html to this one so what i can do document dot get element by id of so first one app one i will try to take dot inner html i can write directly dot inner html okay equal to element i can write right now if i try to check the output if i try to check the output i am able to get this hello world and input box also i am able to so perfect this is perfect right now what i want to do is so the same scenario i want to implement using the react js so how i will do you will be having the jsx right so constant element 2 equal to react dot okay we'll use this one instead of using the jsx thing react dot create element of Okay, so we'll be having first one will be the do and next one will be the null. And here I can use react dot create element of another one will be another one will be the do. So next one will be the null. Here I can write hello world like this. Hello world. Okay, so this is the first one and another one what i can write here react dot create element i can write it like this sorry here i can write one div i can write one null here i can write react dot create element of put okay so like this i can write here i can write something like type is equal to text if you want you can type is equal so this is the basic thing if i try to now i want to render this one react dom okay react dom dot render of element 2 and when i need where i need to render it document dot get element by id of app 2 right so perfect now if i try to check the output here if i try to check the output we are not able to get put what is the error we are getting error oh comma we forgot to Now, if I try to check the output, here we are able to see that two things, two are one and the same. So, looking one and the same, right? So, what I can do here, I need, I will add some BRs, okay, so that you will be able to have some reference. This one is the example, okay. So, this one is normal HTML we have built it, and this one is using the React JSX or React DOM. So, whatever the thing. So, we, instead of writing the JSX, we have written directly this code, right? So, we can see it. Now what I will try to do here, let's go to the main.js code, okay. So as we know, as we know now, what we know is, for example, here, here we can write one div, okay, and we can write JavaScript expression, something like new date dot get, okay, get local, what, what is it, what is the problem we are getting? 
so we can write new date or something like this let's try to see okay we can write the new date here right now if i try to check the output i'm able to see the new date here in the same scenario how we can write here also we can write something like react dot create element so we are having one div so div so it could be null and I, here i'll be writing new date dot get local sorry local to local date time string okay i can use this one and here also to local time string i can use this one right so this is the thing i will be using so here if i try to see I am able to see the date time here. Okay, I am able to see the time. So this one is rendered through HTML and this one is rendered through the reacting. Now if I try to see here, both are one and the same only. But here this one is normal HTML I have written, but here normal React element I am writing. So now here the time is coming, right? So here I want to update the time here. Okay, so I want to update the time every second. It need to come 33, 34, 35 like this. It need to update. What I can do? So the common thing what we need what we know is set interval we can run the set interval sorry set interval for every second we can write it right so how we can how we can write is so we need to mention a function here so how can i mention wrap this entire thing inside a function function okay render i can use this render method and what how this render will do is so here i used this all method okay i can use this all render and here i can mention this function to render here automatically okay so this all function it will be executed for every second if i try to see here so the clock is ticking here you are able to see that clock is ticking so it is getting updated so now here we know that for every one second that dom is re-rendering again so now if you try to see here in the html what will try to have if i try if i want to write something in this input box See, I, I, am, I am not able to write. Why? Because every one second the DOM is re rendering again. So that means every one second the DOM is taking this all HTML and it is embedding it into the app one. So that means for every one second this all will be refreshed. So I am not able to write anything in this in input element. So this is common. But see how React will behave. So now if I want to write something in this input, so this one is also the same thing it is doing, right? So here also it is creating all the elements and it is rendering into the app two. Now, if you try to see here, I am able to write anything. So, whatever the name I want to write here, so without any problem, I am able to write. But here, if I want to write anything, so it is getting refreshed immediately. See, if I try to write anything, it is going, it is going, it is refreshing immediately. So, what is happening here? So, this is the advantage of the React.js. So, if I try to see the element, if I go to the elements here, if you see the code, okay. So, here the app one entire div is refreshing. But if you go to the app 2, okay, this is rendered through the React.js. This entire is not refreshing. Only that thing, what it is changing here, only the timer. The time timing is the only thing refreshing. So that is the reason only this div is refreshing. But here, the HTML, when compared to HTML, so entire div is completely it is refreshing. See, if you try to open this one, I am not able to open. Why? Because entire div is coming here. So this could be a painful task. Why? Because you know that javascript is very fast so javascript is very fast as we already discussed javascript will be very fast so the js engine whatever the js engine will be having it will be very fast there is no need to uh, keep a name for that one so very fast the only problem where it will comes is rendering into the dom so when we want to access the dom elements and we want to write or we want to replace element update the elements there it will be taking slow so there the js js faces the problem so it becomes slow so in order to overcome this one, so React.js uses this virtual DOM. So now you will be able to understand this virtual DOM concept. So whenever it, if we want to render this entire HTML, so this one, the React DOM, virtual DOM will not render everything. Okay, here the HTML, it is rendering everything. But the React DOM, the virtual DOM will not render everything. So it uses the diff algorithm. If you understand this one, if uses it uses the diff algorithm. It uses the default algorithm, most famous algorithm, which is default algorithm to replace what what are the elements that are being updated in the next render. So it has the previous copy and it has the, the copy present it to it need to be rendered. It will check with that copy which is already present in the memory. So it will check that one. So whatever the things it is updated, the those things only will be 
rendered into the DOM. So the already exist elements will not be re-rendered again. So this increases the performance boost very much. Okay. So this is the main benefit of using this all react.create element and all those things virtual DOM. Okay. So with the normal HTML, we cannot achieve this one. So by using this virtual DOM, the performance will be increased so much. Okay. And another thing what we can do, what, we, what I can say is, so these all the thing, whatever the checking algorithm, uh, checking these all things, uh, rendering elements and all these things will be happen only in the memory. So as it is happening in the memory, it will be very fast. It is not happening or any, or any anything. The previous copy will be kept in the memory and whatever the DOM it is coming, it checks with the thing in the memory itself. So that in the memory itself, it is happening means it will be very fast. So whatever the things it will be updated, it will be updated. Okay. This is the benefit of the React virtual DOM concept okay if you if you go to the react here so if you go to the get docs docs thing and if you go to the rendering elements you will be able to see the concept here so here if you try to see so here you will be able to see the clock ticking so this is the same example what what i have told they have explained you in a simpler manner so this is the virtual dom concept it uses the if algorithm okay so they have already they will be writing it somewhere so another thing you need to remember is react elements are the immutable elements once you create an element you can't change its children and attributes okay so this is this is the concept of the virtual dom so this is the advantage of virtual dom and this is the advantage of using this react.create element and all those things concept instead of using this html hope you understood this virtual dom concept so in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to install the react.js how we can install the react.js so through the build tools and all those things how we can do we'll try to see it in the next video and next onwards we'll try to learn one by one concept we'll try to dig deeper into the react js okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you